Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for July 10th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day Inventory A few months after I made my original trip to Akron, I was feeling pretty cocky, and I didn't think my wife was treating me with proper respect, now that I was an outstanding citizen. So I set out to get drunk deliberately, just to teach her what she was missing. A week later, I had to get an old friend from Akron to spend two days sobering me up. That was my lesson, that one could not take the moral inventory and then file it away that the alcoholic has to continue to take inventory every day if he expects to get well and stay well. 1976 Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 293-294. Thought to consider. In order to recover, we have to uncover. AA Acronyms, Faith. Facing all in trusting him. Just for today. Practice it from his spiritual quest. As Dr. Bob himself said, I don't think we can do anything very well in this world unless we practice it. And I don't believe we do AA too well unless we practice it. We should practice acquiring the spirit of service. We should attempt to acquire some faith, which isn't easily done, especially for the person who has always been very materialistic following the standards of society today. But I think faith can be acquired. It can be acquired slowly. It has to be cultivated. That was not easy for me, and I assume that it is difficult for everyone else. Dr. Bob and the Good Old Timers, pages 307 to 308. Daily Reflections Toward Peace and Serenity When we have taken a square look at some of these defects, have discussed them with another, and have become willing to have them removed, our thinking about humility commences to have a wider meaning. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 74. When situations arise which destroy my serenity, pain often motivates me to ask God for clarity in seeing my part in the situation. Admitting my powerlessness, I humbly pray for acceptance. I try to see how my character defects contributed to the situation. Could I have been more patient? Was I intolerant? Did I insist on having my own way? Was I afraid? As my defects are revealed, I put self-reliance aside and humbly ask God to remove my shortcomings. The situation may not change, But as I practice exercising humility, I enjoy the peace and serenity, which are the natural benefits of placing my reliance in a power greater than myself. As Bill sees it, the beginnings of humility. There are few absolutes inherent in the 12 steps. Most steps are open to interpretation based on the experience and outlook of the individual. Consequently, The individual is free to start the steps at whatever point he can or will. God, as we understand him, may be defined as a power greater or the higher power. For thousands of members, the AA group itself has been a higher power in the beginning. This acknowledgement is easy to make if a newcomer knows that most of the members are sober and he isn't. His admission is the beginning of humility At least the newcomer is willing to disclaim that he himself is God. That's all the start he needs. If, following this achievement, he will relax and practice as many of the steps as he can, he is sure to grow spiritually. That's from a letter, 1966. Big Book Quote If we were to live, we had to be free of anger. The grouch and the brainstorm were not for us. They may be the dubious luxury of normal men, but for alcoholics, these things are poison. Alcoholics Anonymous, How It Works, page 66. 
24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. We in Alcoholics Anonymous do not enter into the theological discussions, but in carrying our message, we attempt to explain the simple how of the spiritual life, how faith in a higher power can help you to overcome loneliness, fear, and anxiety, how it can help you get along with other people, how it can make it possible for you to rise above pain, sorrow, and despondency, how it can help you to overcome your desires for the things that destroy. Have I reached a simple, effective faith? Meditation for the day. Expect miracles of change in people's lives. Do not be held back by unbelief. People can be changed, and they are often ready and waiting to be changed. Never believe that human nature cannot be changed. We see changed people every day. Do you have the faith to make those changes possible? Modern miracles happen every day in the lives of people. All miracles are in the realm of personalities. Human nature can be changed and is always being changed. But we must have enough faith so that we can be channels for God's strength into the lives of others. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may have the faith to expect miracles. I pray that I may be used by God to help change the lives of others. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. Thank you for letting me read for you today. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.